The new AWS Machine Learning Associate Certification Exam just released in beta in late August 2024. I took and passed the exam on day one to give you all the information you need to take and pass the exam on your first try. My name is David Blocker. I'm a now 11 times AWS certified course author here at Pluralsight, and this is a primer for the AWS certified machine learning associate exam. This is a brand new certification offered by AWS, which along with the new AI practitioner certification was announced earlier in 2024. These new certifications are designed to address growing needs for engineers and technical leaders with the skills and know-how to implement, secure, and monitor responsible machine learning and AI workloads. Now, you may be familiar with the existing AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification, which is now almost six years old. Let's talk about their key differences. The new Machine Learning Associate Certification is designed for cloud engineers who work with Amazon SageMaker and want to certify their skills in cloud architecture, data engineering, DevOps, and data science as it relates to machine learning on AWS. The older machine learning specialty certification is still relevant today, but it focuses more on designing and running the machine learning workloads themselves, including a greater emphasis on machine learning algorithms, hyperparameter tuning, and model design and training. So if you are a machine learning engineer who wants to learn more about maintaining ML ecosystems on AWS, or you're an AWS cloud engineer who wants to get more familiar with the core concepts of machine learning, the new machine learning associate certification is a great learning opportunity. Just like the other AWS certification exams, you can take this exam at a testing center or take an online proctored exam from home. Personally, I prefer testing centers, so I don't have to worry about technical issues or cleaning off my desk, but it's all up to your personal preference and local availability. This exam consists of 85 questions over 170 minutes and includes the typical multiple select and multiple choice questions, as well as new question types, ordering, matching, and case study. Overall, I really liked the new question types and the case study questions help cut down on reading time by presenting a scenario and then asking four or five questions relating to the scenario. Now let's get down to business and talk about the key services and concepts covered on the exam. The exam consists of four domains, data preparation for machine learning, ML model development, deployment and orchestration of ML workflows, ML solution monitoring, maintenance, and security. You can find the exam guide in the video description for a full breakdown of what's covered on the exam. An alternate name for this certification could have been the Amazon SageMaker certification. The vast majority of questions on the exam involve SageMaker, which has evolved from a single machine learning service to an integrated family of services designed to help you build, train, and deploy machine learning models. SageMaker provides tools for data pipelines and infrastructure management for training, debugging, hosting, and monitoring machine learning models. You'll need to understand the machine learning lifecycle from data ingestion, data storage, data preparation, model training, tuning, deployment, monitoring, and retraining. And you'll have to do this all while keeping your data secure along the way. You'll see a lot of SageMaker Data Wrangler, which is used for data preparation and feature engineering with minimal code writing. You'll need to understand when it's more appropriate to use Data Wrangler as opposed to other data preparation tools such as AWS Glue. You'll also need to know how to sort and manage your various machine learning models using the SageMaker model registry. You'll need to know the difference between model groups and model collections. When it comes to deploying your models, the exam heavily emphasizes using SageMaker inference, which will manage your infrastructure behind endpoints. You'll need to know when it's appropriate to use real-time versus serverless, asynchronous, or batch endpoints for your models deployed to SageMaker inference. Outside of SageMaker, you'll need to be familiar with general machine learning concepts. You'll need to understand the difference between regression and classification models, and the metrics you would use to tune and monitor those models. You'll be tested on overfitting and underfitting, and the different techniques you can use to address these common problems. You'll also see several questions relating to standalone managed AI and machine learning services on AWS. 
You'll need to know the basics of Amazon Bedrock, which is their fully managed generative AI service, including how to fine tune pre-built models with proprietary data. You'll also see several questions involving Amazon Comprehend, which can be used for sentiment analysis, as well as redacting sensitive data in natural language documents. This is only a snapshot of the most common services, but the breadth of this exam is far beyond what I've mentioned here. Hands-on experience will be a must for achieving this new and highly sought after machine learning certification. Good luck on your learning and certification journey and keep being awesome.